short form electron configuration. So we've learned how to draw orbital diagrams that describe the electron configuration of atoms. What we're going to do today is learn about how to write those electron configurations shorter. So let's take for example magnesium, which has a chemical symbol of Mg. It has an atomic number of 12. This tells us it has 12 protons. Because it's a neutral atom of magnesium, we can know that we also have 12 electrons, which is very important for us to know for drawing electron configurations. So what we're going to do first is draw an orbital diagram to describe the electron configuration of magnesium. And then we're going to learn how to write the short form of it so we do not have to write the orbital diagram. So drawing the orbital diagram, and there it is. It's not very pretty, but it'll do. So remember that arrows represent electrons, and we have 12 electrons to fill in these orbitals. So first we have S, which can only fit two electrons. So I'm going to draw one electron this way, showing one spin, and one electron that way, showing another spin. Remember, we have to fill up 1S before we move to 2S, according to Aufbau's principle, and we have to have them spinning the different directions according to the Pauli exclusion principle. Then we do the same thing for 2S. So now I have four electrons. But remember, we have 12. We need to get in there. So I'm going to draw for 2P. I'm going to draw one this way, another, and another, following Hun's rule that they have to have parallel spins, that they're most stable when they have parallel spins. So I have to do that first before I start sharing space with the other electrons. But this is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's how I would fill that one up. And we have two more because we have 12 electrons. And so that is the orbital diagram for magnesium. Now to draw this short form electron configuration, what we have to do is just take 1s right here and then tell, you have to just say how many electrons there are in a superscript right here like this. So 1s2 describes that there are two electrons in the 1s orbital. And then 2s, how many electrons do we have? 2, 2s2. Then here we have 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then we have 3s2. This is the short form electron configuration of magnesium. Now there is also another type of short form electron configuration that involves a noble gas abbreviation. Now a noble gas abbreviation means instead of writing all the electrons in the configuration, you cannot write out just the ones since the last noble gas. Remember, noble gases are the last column to the right, or the last group to the right of the periodic table. It starts with helium. So we have to find out the last noble gas before magnesium, and that is any. If I go to atomic number 10, I see that that's NE. And to write a noble gas abbreviation, short form electron configuration, all I have to do is put NE, put brackets around it like this, and then write the electron configuration from that point. NE, when I write NE, the electron configuration for one NE is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. NE means the same as that. Any in those brackets means the same as that. And notice that that's the whole part here of magnesium. So all we have to write at the end is 3s2. And that is the noble gas abbreviation of magnesium. So both of these would work as short form electron configurations for magnesium.